Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rock Bottom Airsoft. It's good to see you again. As always, if it's your first time here, it is good to see you and I hope you're going to stick around. Okay, well, welcome to our midweek video. Those of you who follow the channel will already know that we normally look to upload a video midweek, normally on a Wednesday, and we also upload a video every weekend, normally on a Saturday, and in the videos at the weekend we'll discuss all things airsoft, everything our great hobby and sport that is airsoft, gear, replica reviews, tech, and everything in between. Uh, normally midweek we look to do gameplay videos, but this week we haven't got any gameplay, so we're going to do another video once more here in my command centre, <laughs> as I call it. Uh, this is where I keep all of my gear, uh, most of my replicas, and all of my stuff, as I like to call it. Uh, so, because we're sat here, we're going to be looking at another accessory, another bit of gear. I uh, thought we'd do a, a quick review and rundown on a piece of kit that I have here. Again, looking at a more affordable slant at Airsoft, which is what we do here at Rock Bottom Airsoft, try and look at more affordable aspects of our great game. Now, I hope you've been enjoying my series of videos, and if you have, then please do get subscribed to the channel, that way you won't miss any of my uploads, and it, it helps the channel out. Um, so, with all that out of the way, Let's crack on, have a look what we're looking at. Well, what we're going to have a look at today is this. As many of you can probably tell just by looking at it, it is a 40mm Moscart shell launcher for Airsoft. Um, there's loads of these knocking about. There's various types of 40mm of grenade launcher. And I did, in fact, do a previous video looking at affordable launchers um, in general and also looking at 40 millimeter grenades in general so in this video i thought we'd have a quick look at one of the most affordable weapon mounted 40 millimeter grenade launchers i've been able to find now what this is more suited for i would say is if you've got the image of a of an m203 replica mounted to your m16 replica or your ar replica of any kind um then you know they can get a bit pricey you can be looking up to around about between 60 to 80 british pounds here in the uk sometimes more dependent on which one you get and i've also encountered issues with some of my friends at my home site at Tazball Airsoft and others on forums and communities that have had issues that some Moscar gas shells won't work very well with some of the M203 style replica grenade launchers. So I thought we could have a look at the weapon mounted grenade launcher I have here which while being extremely affordable as, as weapon mounted launchers go I've also never had any problems with this firing shells. Now, there's a number of companies make this. I am going to put a link in the description as to where you can get one of these. The prices range drastically. The most affordable one I have managed to find so far, if that changes by the time the video goes up, I'll put the link to the most affordable, but it's around about 37 British pounds. Um, 37 pounds for a weapon mounted launcher um, they do range all the way up to around about 55 British pounds depending on who you get it by but as far as I can tell it's the same device uh, this particular one was made by well sold by Newprol um, they also do one by Big Dragon I believe uh, which seems to be at a more affordable price but again is exactly the same device so this is the short version i find that this short version fits nicely on pretty much any ar or any replica you might have that has a 20 millimeter rail at the bottom end at the 180 degrees if you've got a, a 20 millimeter rail on your handguard or you could mount it on the top if you wanted or off to the side but it is quite heavy but if you have a 20 millimeter rail that's how this mounts you've got two clamps here those two clamps are clamped on by allen headed screws and it just clamps to your 20 millimeter rail any standard rail this will clamp to this item is full metal there's no plastic on it it's fully uh, i think it's some sort of alloy primarily um but yeah it's a solid piece of metal there's no plastic on here it feels well made i've used this in game quite a number of times never had any problems with it very simple to load and use you mount this to your replica i usually have it mounted under slung 
um, as you would with an M203. So you mount it under slung, and then in order to, f to charge it with a grenade or a load of grenade, you push this push button through, and then you slide that forward. You load your Moscart grenade into the rear, slide it shut, and then push the button back through from the opposite side here. And then once that's in, that's it locked in place. You can run around as long as you want with your 40 millimeter grenade in place. There's a cutout here so you know that a 40 millimeter grenade is loaded. Once the grenade is loaded, firing the grenade is simple. It is just a push button. This is on safe. It has a crossbar safety with this button here. Press that through and the button plunger will go all the way and fire your grenade. Push it back the other way, it's on safe. So it has a functional safety, again, all metal. It has a locking breech, if you like, so the canister won't fall out once it's in, it's locked in. And it has full metal clamps for clamping to your 20 millimeter rail. Weight wise, it's not mega heavy, maybe a few hundred grams, something like that, not too heavy at all. Um, a lot less than a, a pistol or something along those lines, so quite light. And this is the six inch version they do a longer version the advantage of this as i say is this will fit on the vast majority of replicas you won't have any fitment issues you'll be able to access the trigger without a problem and even if you've only got a shorter rail or a shorter handguard it's still going to fit however the only drawback that you'll have with getting the six inch version is that you can't use the extremely long moscart shells you are limited to the normal or smaller size shells this will work with CO2 shells. It will also work with green gas shells. And it is very effective. I found that reloading is quick, easy, safety off and fire. Very easy to fire, very easy to mount. Looks good on the replica. Maybe not quite as realistic as, a, as an M203 replica. I think they call this the XM203 in some circles. But on something like a G36 replica, it'll look right at home on there or a SCAR. And it does look good on AR variants as well. I've tried it on there. As with any weapon mounted Moscart launcher, it is going to add weight to your front end. That's unavoidable, so that's another drawback. And sometimes, obviously with it being a push button trigger, it's an advantage because you'll never have a problem firing a Moscart shell in these. All the shells fire no problem because you're basically just pressing the plunger in remotely. So they, they do fire very easily on this rather than having a trigger. But it's also a disadvantage because when it's on your replica, you've got to get your thumb in there and fire it. But obviously you're holding your rifle anyway. It is easily doable. You'll have to take my word for it on that one. But it is easy to fire your Moscarts off with this in-game. Uh, it's only one shell at a time. But it brings me back to it being very affordable. It's 37 British pounds. Um, you know, that, that's extremely affordable for a Moscart shell launcher. If you're wanting to get into... 40 millimeter grenades in your airsoft games if you don't want to go with the Sima hand cannon as i call it which is a little handheld moscart launcher which uh, which i also included in a, in a previous video and you want something that's weapon mounted that's attached to your replica so it's always with you then this is an affordable entry into replica mounted 40 millimeter grenade launchers so like i say i'll put a link in the description as to where you can get one I think it looks all right. 37 British pounds. You're getting yourself a full metal weapon mounted 40 millimeter Moscart launcher. It's very, very easy to use. Very simple to fit. It's all metal. It's well made and it works. Sometimes the simplest ideas work best. And in this case, this is very true. As I say, I've encountered people having problems launching 40 millimeter grass grenades with other forms of launcher but with this with it having that very simple safety off and press the button it works every time so there you go just a quick video for our midweek video on a piece of kit that uh, i quite like i've had for a while you can still get hold of them they're very handy they're a good entry into 40 millimeter grenades which is in fact what got me into 40 millimeter grenades before i got all my other launchers um <laughs> this was the first one i got and because it's replica mounted it can make your replica look cool um and also you know it works 
So I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about 40mm grenades in Airsoft or about this launcher, then do drop a comment below. I'll always respond to comments. I might not get back to you straight away, but I will always get back to you. If you enjoyed the video, then please do drop a like on there. And as I say, if you have any more questions for me about Airsoft or anything in general, then do drop me a comment. I'll always get back to you. Or you can find myself on Facebook and Instagram as Rock Bottom Airsoft and there's pictures, discussions and things like that on there. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that short midweek video looking at another piece of kit that I've got here in my command centre, <laughs> in, in my kit room. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching. I will look forward to seeing you in the next one.